Ako ďalší v poradí, next to skate, representing Russia, Senia Akanteva. Senia Akanteva and 20-year-old Valery Golsov. Coached by Fedor Timov, 118.72, personal best two or three years ago as they skate for gold to Romeo and Juliet. Well, 10 elements and five reviews. This is a very good team that did not have a very good night. There was a lot of little mistakes in this program. Representing Russia, That's just, Senia Akanteva and Valery you know, Kolesov. Honestly, in reality, it's unfortunate because it's a lovely team. You can see the qualities. But for whatever reason, a couple falls, a couple loss of balance. You know, just not their night wasn't it's early in the season of course you're just in September so this is going to get much better as the year progresses and maybe it's this type of performance which makes the best one come out a little bit later but lots of little errors in this program but the good news is it's a really good team great qualities
with some mistakes here tonight. Let's take a look a little deeper inside the program and see what I'm talking about here. Here's the triple twist. This is in at a level three. Hands get down to the side. Good catch. No problem there. The steps coming in. That's okay. Here's the triple toe loop. Zinnia falls on this. It fell before on the Sao Cao as well the, early on in the program. There are three falls in this program. There's the group four lift at a level four, 0.92. And there's a lot of snow. You can see right on the toe picks, lost a lot of speed on the change of position. That's what happens when you're a little bit, I don't want to say nervous, but you're just out of sorts a little bit and you start to scratch on those lifts. And there's the throw triple flip, no, not a problem there. Good speed on the landing. And the throw triple loop, watch. Zenny go down here, just caught back in the heel. The weight was too far back. Hard to get up and back in the program. So that breaks the fluidity of the program. Here's the back outside desk bar. Watch him, he's gonna lose his balance. Right there, slips on the pick. And Han has to go down. That back outside desk bar went down to a level one. So just little mistakes along the way. And even this lift here, you can see the turns are not really smooth. Keep some momentum going across the ice, but certainly they were tense. They were uptight. Off to little problems and you don't get in the zone. You're fighting it all the time. Good team, not a good night. Well, they need 110.07 to take over the lead, and I don't think they're going to do that. We're going to probably see Karina and Luca from Georgia move up. We'll find out in just a moment. I'm not sure if it'll be enough. The reviews have been done. The judges' scores coming in right now. But sometimes you need these types of performances to sort of wake you up a little bit. I mean, you can be good and think you're good, and then you run into problems and it makes you better. We'll see what happens here. But let's take a look at the scores for the free program for Zinya and Valerie. 93.15. That's fourth in the free program. So that's really not good enough for to take over the lead for sure. And with 151.35 for the competition, that'll put them currently in third place with one team to skate. So they might even be off the podium. We'll see what happens in the next few moments.